I can tell you, I know that there is a lot of misinformation out there. Yo quiero que sí, muy pronto, pero ahora yo no sé exactamente cuándo. Okay. I had to tell the other members of Creative, if there is a Fire Russo chant in my arena again, I will fire somebody else. When you get those minute by minutes and you see what people are watching and when they're turning that dial and when they're turning it back on and who's holding it and what demos are watching what, that's hard to deny. I am the only person in our industry who proactively went to Capitol Hill and met with Congress for a full day and was, you know, uh, subjected to a very intense line of questioning. Jason, you ain't nothing compared to those guys. I myself, you know, I've never done drugs. I don't have, you know, I, I drug test myself and I know it's the biggest waste of $350. They're great. The drug test? Yeah, no, drugs. Oh, I was Jeremy Borash's first makeup person. He never heard of bronzer, and now he can't live without it. And, uh... <laughs> Someone running for office? Someone, yeah. So that was your outside voice. I heard that. I go back and I look at some stuff on Vince Russo, and it's not even the same man that I know today. Who would you like to see come work for you? Did you notice the uh, steel bar or uh, girder coming down, obstructing the hot camera's view? What, say that again now? How come you took TNA out of Nashville, Tennessee? You know, I think of that video we just watched with the guy on the bowl there. You ever get scared when you see with the TNA fans? See the one on the potty? Oh, well, no, but... Ooh. Jimmy! Hey, Dixie! Hey. Long time no see. What are your feelings on Brian Alvarez? Who? I don't know him. There you go. <laughs> they run by a woman who has no idea what she's doing, and the TV has been written for years by a guy who has no idea what he's doing. The classic story of doing the same thing over and over again and hoping somehow things will change. That's Brian Alvarez. What? You wake me up for this? Oh, I must have fallen asleep with the TNA pay-per-view. Dixie, why did you air the speech of you talking down the locker? Do you think it's fair that your employees are not offered any kind of health insurance policy? Have any wrestlers ever hit on you? And if so, who? Don't you feel it's counterproductive to allow people to blatantly cause the demise of WCW to come into TNA and take over the booking and production? How do you feel about WWE's wellness policy testing for marijuana? Why do you not care that Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Pac goes, goes on YouTube and post videos about taking somas? Do you realize your company is nearly a mirror image of early 2000 WCW? Is the Bischoff Hogan Regiment being held accountable for the falling television ratings? Are you aware what guys like Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, Vince Russo, and Eric Bischoff did in WCW? <laughs> Take my pants off. <laughs> How much would Vince have to offer you to sell the company? I don't know. What do you think he'd take for his? 